Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and today we'll model this uh, egg beater in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise uh, 28 of this playlist, and I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it from there and you can practice. Uh, I will use uh, this model for creating this exercise. Uh, not exactly this one. Uh, I will take uh, this model as a reference. Okay, as you can see that I have already created this model in SolidWorks. Uh, so let's make it. So first let's go to a new uh, select part and select OK. So now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. Remember I am using SOLIDWORKS 2020 and if you are using a below version or a future version you can still follow this tutorial. So first of all I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. So let's go to your top plane select sketch and let's make a circle and uh, let's say the diameter of circle is uh, let's say 35 millimeters and uh, i will exit this sketch i'll go to your features extruded boss and i will extrude it uh, let's say up to 150 millimeters downwards okay uh, next is uh, uh, let's say i will create this profile and uh, let's go to your front plane, select sketch and view normal. And let's make this profile. So first I will make one center line, let's say up to here. And this dimension is 170 uh, or let's say 150. Okay. Uh, let's make one line and one arc. So I will select this line. I will make one line, let's say up to here, one tapered line. And then let's say I want to convert this line into an arc. So just go back and now this uh, line would be converted into an arc. Let's finish this arc up to here. Okay. Uh, this line and this line would be tangent. Let's dimension this. So let's go to a smart dimension and let's say this dimension is uh, 11. And uh, let's say this degree is uh, 8. Okay. And uh, you can see that this line is fully defined, but this arc is not fully defined. Let's make a center line for a reference. And let's say this arc and this center line would be uh, tangent. And uh, now I will mirror this uh, profile. So let's go to a mirror. Entities to mirror is this line and this arc and mirror about this center line. And select OK. Now you can see that still it is not fully defined. So just go to smart dimension and select this point and select this point and select OK. Now you can see that this uh, profile is fully defined. So I exit this sketch and let's go to your features, sweat pause and uh, I will use this option circular profile and I will change this diameter to let's say 3 mm and I will select this profile. Uh, you can see this profile. Uh, I'll go to your options and this time I will use this option align with end faces. Just see here. Now you can see that these faces are aligned with this uh, cylindrical face. Uh, I will uncheck this box merge result and I will select this box merge tangent faces and select OK. So SOLIDWORKS will treat this loop uh, as a separate body. Uh, you can see that we have two solid bodies. One solid body is this one and one solid body is this one. Uh, let's go to here, uh, let's say circular pattern. Uh, you can see that we have, uh, let's say, six number of patterns, but this time uh, uh, in my model, I will use only three. Uh, now I will pattern this uh, loop. So let's go to here, uh, circular pattern. And uh, I will use this option bodies uh, because I have to make some uh, uh, adjustments. And as you can see that we have two, so uh, uh, two separate bodies so I will select this body and uh, for the direction I will use uh, this cylinder and now you can see a uh, preview I will rotate my model you can see and select OK as you can see that uh, these loops uh, are merged at one point but uh, if you can see in this photo these are not merged at point these are let's say five or uh, uh, 5 to 6 millimeter apart. So I can make it using uh, uh, move uh, body command. 
so i'll go to a direct editing if you don't find this option direct editing just right click here go to here tabs and you will find this option here direct editing or if you don't find this command so just go to here insert and uh, go to here features and you will find this option here move copy okay so i will use this uh, uh, command from here direct editing i will select this option move copy and uh, let's say i will select this body now these bodies are separate bodies and i can make some edits or some adjustments here okay so let's say i will drag this to uh, somewhere here and i will change this dimension to minus 5 a uh, translation and uh, make sure to uncheck this box okay and now you can see that i have translated this body uh, 5 millimeters down okay so let's go to here this uh, command again move copy and this time i will choose let's say this loop and i will drag this to uh, let's say here and uh, let's change this dimension to 5 in the y direction don't copy uh, and select ok and now you can see that it is somewhere similar to this one ok not exactly uh, but now we have uh, one problem uh, because we have translated our loop so uh, you can see that we have uh, uh, some gap here ok and in this uh, uh, second body uh, let's say this one uh, we have translated this body 5 millimeters uh, down okay so uh, we can adjust it using this option move faces so i will select this command move faces and i will select first let's say this face and then i will select this face simultaneously select shift to uh, select both faces uh, simultaneously and i will drag this to uh, up to maybe here okay uh, select this option blind don't copy and uh, select okay in the y direction so that uh, these faces are aligned with this uh, cylinder uh, uh, with this cylinder so as you can see that we have uh, four solid bodies and this loop is basically intersecting this cylinder so i can adjust it using this command combine so I will set this option combine and I will uh, combine all four solid bodies to make uh, only one solid body. So I will select all these show preview and select OK. So now you can see that all uh, four solid bodies are combined to make only one solid body. You can see that we have only one solid body here. Uh, let's make uh, one handle here. As you can see that in the top we have one handle. So let's go to here front plane, select a sketch, view normal and uh, let's make uh, one line here and go back to this line so that this line would be converted into an arc and I will end up this arc here and I will make another line here, okay. Select this center point of this arc, select this origin and make them vertical. Now uh, it is symmetric. Let's make some dimensions. Let's say this dimension is 15 millimeters and uh, let's say this dimension is 24 millimeters. Now you can see that this sketch color is turned into black, which means it is fully defined. And now I can use sweep feature. Just rotate it. And let's go to here features, sweat ball space, circular profile. And I will use a circular profile having outer diameter 3. Select this sketch and go to your options select this option merge tangent faces align with the uh, end faces and this time i will use this option merge result okay uh, lastly i will do some chamfer onto this edge and this edge so let's go to here chamfer i will change uh, this to let's say 2 mm chamfer 45 degrees select this edge and select this edge and select okay Uh, let's go to here appearance and uh, I will go to here metal and under metal I will go to here chrome and I will select this option brush chrome just double click it and now you can see that this material is applied onto this uh, uh, body okay uh, it is still one solid body so that concludes this uh, exercise uh, I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, any queries, 
related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you